I'm Sabrina, and today we're going to be using balloons to learn a little bit about static electricity. First, blow up a balloon and put it next to your head. See if anything happens. Then, rub the balloon on your head, and then move it around and see if anything happens now. You'll notice that your hair is being pulled towards the balloon and away from your head. This is happening because the balloon is becoming negatively charged and your hair positively charged when we're rubbing them together. And since they're oppositely charged, they'll attract. Now that we've got a negatively charged balloon, let's see what happens when we put it by some running water. So you might have to blow up a slightly smaller balloon so it'll fit into your sink and then just charge it against your head again. So first, turn on your faucet so that a little bit of water comes out and then put the balloon near the stream of water and see if anything happens. You can see here that as it put the balloon by the water, it's pulling the stream towards it. So what's happening here is the same thing that happened with our hair in the balloon. The negatively charged balloon is pulling the positive part of the water towards it, and that's causing it to bend a little bit. And if you've got an empty can lying around the house, there's one more experiment we can do. First, lie the can down on the ground. Then use your negatively charged balloon to pull it. Now, see what other kinds of experiments you can do with the charged balloon. Like see if varying the temperature of the water going down your faucet will change how much it bends. Or see if there are other things you can push with a charged balloon. 